Hi, it's Emily. Today we're going to talk about tonguing. Tonguing can be done in different ways. Some people put their tongue between the lips here and do like this. Some teachers even use a little grain of rice and put it there and ask the student to push it out. Personally, I don't tongue that way. Sometimes I use that tonguing when I want something uh, more percussive, but I have more time to tongue because for me, it's, um, it's more, it takes me more time and it's not, it's not as solid for myself, but some people have it very well, so they use it a lot. It's more like... So you hear it, the... Um, you can also tongue behind the teeth. Um, you know, you have your teeth and then you have your, the top of your, the roof of your mouth and then you can tongue here and go t -t 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 -t. So you blow and you cut the air with your tongue that goes t -t 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 -t. It's very important to blow all the way, not stop and go t -t 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 -t. You need to have the air pressure under the tonguing all the time. It's a bit as if you were playing with the, with the hose, you know, you play with the hose outside in the summer and there's a lot of pressure and you go schluck with your hand and it does a schluck sound, you know. Um, if there's no more pressure, it won't work. The, the, that sound will not be there. So tonguing is, is just stopping the air for a split second and then when the air comes back the sound comes back and that's where you get the sound so when you tongue it's not as much about when the tongue hits but when the tongue releases so I had problems tonguing for a long time until I understood that it's not when I put it there it's when I take it off so I guess my tonguing was always a bit late or something so Think about that. The, the important thing is there when you take it off. And um, so you have to have a very solid air stream under your, your tonguing. I will give you an exercise. I will play five notes. G, A, B, C, D. First, I will just play it slurred with a very good support. Now I will slur it again, but I will give it a little bit of I will give it a little bit of air push like this on each note. Now I will separate them with air. But there there's always a little bit of tension in my belly keeping the air. And I try, oh, very important, do not move your lips when you, when you do that. Keep your lips very um, stable, as stable as possible. And then I add the tongue. Personally, I practice it both with the front one and the back one. You don't have to, you can pick one. Um, so I'll do the, the back one first. You can do it like that and then you can do it short and the front one I only practice the front one short because I don't really use it for long notes to sum up the most important things when you are tonguing is to always have a good support of air continue to blow and don't move your lips Keep it as stable as possible. Keep everything as stable as possible. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And there are more videos for you to watch here. Thank you.